Now let's continue from the previous demo. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to style the cards. We have defined three card classes associated with three different states. They are closed card, open card, and found card. The face down state is associated with the closed card cross. The face up state is the open card cross. And the match state is the found card cross. These crosses are informed by the state of the cards which they are in. And these states are triggered by the code, which is in this case JavaScript code. So by default, the cards are all assigned with the closed card cross, which is basically the face down state. However, when the cards are revealed, basically they are face up now, right? So they will be assigned with the open card cross. When the matching pairs are found, they are assigned with the found card cross. Now, one thing you probably realize is all those different states, different cards, they are not really represented in markup level. They are generated by the JavaScript code, meaning we really have to run the application and play with that in order to generate all different three states. So, how are we going to do that in the design level? So good thing is, like we showed in the previous demo, there is an interactive mode in Blend. So we could actually do everything in interactive mode so that we could mimic different state like open and matching. So in the rest of the demo, I'm going to actually using the interactive mode and then style all those different cross with different state and show you how easy we could use brand really efficiently in this case. So first, let me actually uh, try to put this application into the default mode. I'm going to leverage the interactive mode, turn into that mode again. And you could see um, we could actually double check the game size is already set up to 4x4, right? And then we go back to the design mode by click on this interactive mode. Okay, so now everything goes back to 4x4 default mode. So now let me adjust the size to fit all the selection. Okay, looks good. And then I'm going to actually go to the game grid, which is a container, and go down to choose any of the uh, the card here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a style rules from Amazon Cross. In this case, it's called Game Item, and I'm going to apply the changes onto the cross cards, which are the default state for each of the card. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually do something that I could separate the image from this card and then do something, do some style onto the background. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to actually change the layout. We're going to actually put the opacity into zero. So now you will see all the um, images in the cards are gone and uh, we left with pretty empty uh, container for each card. Okay, so um, second step is I actually do want to separate the image from the background so that I will be able to apply nice style into different level. So we're going to go back to the style rules and then we're actually going to find that close the cards. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to actually want to actually um, make the image uh, which is separate from the background. So now when we create a cross like this, you can see we actually could apply style onto the image or to the background, right? Okay, very good. So next step, what we're going to do is we want to actually uh, generate a state by using the interactive mode for the found card or open card. Okay, so we're going to actually play the game a little bit. So we're going to set up the start game and then we're going to start a clicking. All right, this is the open one, not a matching yet. We need to play with a few things until we find a match. Okay, cool, we find a match already. And then I'm gonna just 
going to open one more open card. So we generate the open state as well as the found state, which is matching state. Okay, so let's go back to the design. And what we're seeing here is in the interactive in the interactive mode, we actually did generate some states, and you can see all the states is where we are in the interactive mode and directly go back to design mode. So we could continue onto this particular um, uh, state. So first, um, let me work on the open state. So I'm going to actually click on the open state, which is associated with open car. And when I look at that, we notice that for this particular um, selection, we only select the image. But the style we want to apply is to the background. So we want to actually click the space sort of outside the image so that you can see in the highlight mode, it's actually clicking on the game card, open card. All right. So then we could do something really cool. And we could actually uh, create the style rule from the element class. And we could actually choose open card. OK, so once we create open card, we will be able to change the background. So I'm going to actually move this a little bit. I'm actually going to change the background color into some magic number. You could play with the color and choose anything you want. But in this case, I'm going to ask, enter a hex number. OK, so this is the color I want to set up for the open car state. So next, what I want to do is I want to actually apply uh, the state for the found cross, found car, right, which is matching state. So again, go back, and I'm going to actually um, create a style and go to the found car. And again, same thing. I'm going to change the background color. And you could choose your favorite color, but I'm also going to enter a hex number. Okay, so really these two colors are distinguished enough to, uh, we could separate different state with a matching state, one is open state. Okay, now next. We want to actually do something on the transition between the open car state and the closed car state because these are really instantaneous change. We can add more visual interest to the application by adding a style that will ease the transition between the two states and giving a more fluid feel to the application. So we're going to actually go back to the style rules and then choose the game item image because we're going to actually apply for all the game item image. So we're going to go back to the CSS property, and we're going to actually uh, find the transition property. So here we have a transition, and then uh, it's pretty empty. So we're going to add parameters like opacity. And then next, we're going to actually change the duration into, say, roughly 0.8 second. And then we also want to define how we want the transition being done. So we're going to choose easing out. All right. So now um, we could see we've applied the transition into this. And then let's actually go back to the interactive mode and a few things so that we could see if our background is styled correctly and if the transition is done properly. So again, we're going to actually stop the game. <clears throat> okay, so we see the nice background color applied to this uh, open state. Um, and again, open state. And let's see if we could find a match quickly. Aha. So when we find a match, you can see the color change, background color change from one state open state to the matching state is pretty smooth, right? So this is good. Okay, so we could stop the game. 
and then go back to the design mode because we like all the change, all the style we apply, so we're going to save everything. So now this is conclude the demo on how we could style the cards.